How's it going guys? It's Junkie here and today's video we're going to be talking about Android device code names. Uh, not just code names but also the model number, how to identify the build you're on and basically how to identify what product, what Android device, phone or tablet that you're flashing ROMs on, unbricking. And this can be very important when you've already messed it up and you don't know really exactly which product you have. So let's go ahead and show you how I do it. First things first, you have your device. It's always important to obviously look for clear markings like Samsung, Motorola. That's always a good a good start. Um, also, S5, right? So Galaxy S5, Verizon. So these are all things that are good identifiers. Some devices have a lot of this kind of marking, some don't, but they'll help you to identify specifically what device you're using. Besides that, if your device has a removable back, a lot of times underneath the battery is some very good information. So on this one, you can see right there is the model number. So model number SM-G900V. If you enter settings on your phone and you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's always this about phone or about tablet. If you tap on that, again, there's a lot of great information on here. Maybe a device name, again, a model number, Android build, very important, uh, Android information there, maybe a custom ROM you're running, some CPU information, there's your build number, and there's a lot of great stuff in here to help identify your product as well. But while you're in here, I'm going to show you another way, and this is to tap on your build number. Well, actually in here, it's actually, I think it's your uh, MIUI build number. There you go. And turn on developer options which are actually, it's kind of funny laid out in here, additional options and developer options. So yours may not look like that. Normally it's right above about phone once you enable it. And to turn on ADB debugging and go ahead and turn that on. And there's some commands we can do from the computer to extract more information about this product. So if, if your device boots, this is a great way to get a ton more information for the product that you have. Method two requires some ADB commands. So to do this, you're going to need to download and install ADB Fastboot files from here. This is my uh, site, Windows or Mac. I'm going to show you on Windows, so you download this zip right there. And then along with that, I would go down here and get the Android drivers for your device. Now, if you may not know what your device is, so I would just install the universal ADB driver setup. That should probably work for you for the most part. So just download that and run it and it'll install. Also try some of the Google drivers if you're still having issues, latest Google drivers right there. All right, so besides that, we're gonna run some ADB and Fastboot commands. So once you download the ADB and Fastboot files and extract them to your desktop, you should be in a folder like this. See, ADB, Fastboot, a couple of different uh, win deals right there. You probably won't have this Android thing, but that's fine anyway. All right, so that's what you're going to be left with. Then you're going to take your USB cable and hook your device up to your computer. Like a so. Okay, and it's connected. And you probably are going to get this prompt to allow from this computer. Hit OK. That's going to allow ADB to talk to the, to the device correctly. So from here, we're going to um, hold Shift on our keyboard, right-click, and hit Open a command window here. And now we have a command window we can type in some ADB and fastboot commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull my build prop. So we're going to type in ADB pull. Then the build prop is in system. So we'll do slash system slash build dot prop and hit enter. And that should very quickly pull your build prop right there you see it now you can open this with something like uh, notepad plus plus and you can view the build prop or you can rename it to a dot text and we can rename it to a dot txt and you should be able to see it in a text editor like so I prefer to look at it this way though um, in in here so we're gonna do it back in here so there we go. Uh, Word, uh, Notepad++ is just an excellent program. So now we have a ton more information about our device. And if you're looking for the code name, you can actually find it in here. See this? Row 
product name. So the code name of the device that I have plugged in here is Kenzo. That's its code name. Device product name, you can see right there, row product device name, Kenzo, global Kenzo. So Kenzo is the code name for this device, which is the Redmi Note 3. Um, actually 3 Pro, and it's the Snapdragon version of it. So there's a ton of information here by pulling the build prop, like you see, and now you can identify really well your build numbers, everything. So it's a great idea to do this before you do any hacking or modding on your device. Just pull your build prop and set it aside and you'll be good to go. So let me show you another way if you don't have a booting device. So if your device doesn't boot up and maybe you're stuck in a boot loop and you need to identify your product, let me go ahead and turn this one off. What you can do is you can boot into uh, fast boot mode or bootloader mode. Um, could be called lots of different things in your product, maybe download mode. Every manufacturer has a different way of looking at it, but it should accept fast boot commands for this to function. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold right here, we're going to hold volume down on this one and power, and this is going to fa uh, boot us into fast boot mode on this device. See, it even says fast boot. So like I said, it might be called bootloader mode. It's hard to say. It depends on your manufacturer. But get it into a device where you can plug it into your computer. And what's going to happen is you're going to have drivers installed. And we have that command window still open. So we're going to run some commands over here to try to identify this product again. So something we can type in is fast boot devices. This just makes sure that the device is communicating and everything's working. Drivers are installed. And then we can type in fast boot get var all and this gives you some specific information about your product from fast boot mode or bootloader mode and uh, the thing I'd really want to point out to you here that's really important is right here your product see it right here I'll highlight it for you product again it's Kenzo now you know the code name even if your device doesn't boot up and you're stuck in a boot loop or you bricked it if you can get into download or fast boot mode you can identify the product that you have it is Kenzo so um, there's other information here and if the fast boot get var all command does not function um, what I would type in is fast because sometimes it doesn't on different models fast boot get var and Tell them exactly what you're trying to get var and you're trying to get is the product. So product and you can see it'll just return that line for Kenzo. There you go. That's your code name for again the Redmi Note Pro or Redmi Note 3 Pro. So there you go guys. That's going to be my couple tricks here. If you want to get out of this mode fast boot reboot will reboot the device and now you know the major ways, the main ways that I identify my products that come in here and so I make sure I got the right firmware and show the right videos for you guys so that you have all the right files for the product. Um, yeah, definitely save all that information. It's the first thing I do when I get something new is I check all this, save it all and make sure I've got it in a folder so that I know what I'm doing and I don't mess it up and flash the wrong file. So there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video of identifying the code name, product, and identification of your device. Stay tuned for more videos very soon, especially on this device here, the Redmi Note 3 Pro. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a very solid device. I'm really loving it. And I'm going to show you some cool things on here for sure. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.